enjoy watching my videos, please consider subscribing. Welcome back to Sawdust and Brushstrokes. Today, I'm going to be transforming this antique twin bed. Um, this is a very special bed to me. Uh, it was in my grandmother's spare bedroom while I was growing up and I spent many nights in it. My cousin recently gave it to me to use for my children. Actually, recently, she gave it to me a year ago and I have not gotten around to fixing it up. Um, it has some damage on it from a dog that chewed on this end right here. And for, I did spend a little bit of time trying to get this side to match that side with a sander, but I wasn't successful really with that. So I think what I'm gonna do is come up with a curve that um, will make this side look really well and um, use a template to make this curve the same. And then I'm gonna actually do it on this piece as well. Um, on both sides so that you don't even know that it wasn't meant to look that way. And then once I get that fixed, I'm going to try to sand down the entire bed and then restain it. And I want the stain to be similar to it, what it is right now because it's very special to me and I definitely don't want to paint it because um, it brings back memories seeing it the same color. So join me as I transform my grandmother's bed. The first thing I'm going to do is draw out the curve that I want. Let's see if I can get a better view at it. Okay. So I'm going to freehand it um, just to make sure I get it exactly like I want it. If you notice, this top is flat. And when I was sending it down, it curved. I was curving it, and I don't need to do that. I need to keep it flat. So I'm going to have to cut a little bit off of that. So what I'm going to do is kind of come up with a curve that I like. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a jigsaw and cut that out. Okay, now it's time to make the template. So what I did is I'm just using a piece of pot, um, pallet wood that I have. I uh, made sure there's no um, nails where I'm going to be cutting and I lined up the edge of the pallet board with the top of the bed make sure it's totally lined up and then I'm going to use a pencil to outline to make a template I'm going to start way up here so I know exactly where to start It only goes about this far, so only, I'm gonna go a little bit further than that. Make sure I outline it really, really good. And so when I move the bed, you can see it's a really good outline. And what I'm gonna also do is just tell myself where, about where it to end. Okay, all right, let's see how this does. So I've got my template made. I'm pretty happy with it. So what I'm gonna do for the other side is just turn it over and then I'm gonna line it up with everything over here till I like the curve of it and make sure it meets up here. It's the hard part. Make sure this end and this end meet up. All right, so I'm gonna outline it with the pencil and make sure, I'm gonna make sure I get it really dark so that I can see it very well. All right, so I have a nice pencil line and now I have to come back with the jigsaw.
All right, here it is cut out with a jigsaw. Now it's not sanded down or anything yet. It looks pretty close to each other inside. So now I'll go ahead and do the headboard as well. All right, so here is the headboard and the footboard all cut, and now I'm gonna to start to sand. All right, so I'm using 120 grit sandpaper. All right, so I got everything sanded down the way I want it, and I, wi I wiped everything down with some with a wet cloth. Some of it's still drying. Um, I did notice there's um, some damage. Um, this piece right here to hold the slats, um, to hold the mattress is missing. And this one right here is kind of damaged and sagging so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna take this out and re um and screw it back down and then i'm gonna use this um this part of um a hardwood pallet it's it's really hardwood i think it would be good for this um, i'm gonna use that to replace this one that's missing so i'll do that next ready for me to start staining. I'm going to use special walnut stain. I'm going to apply it with a brush and then wipe it off with a rag as I go along. All right, so I've stained everything. It's had a chance to dry. And I really like the color. It really reminds me of what it looked like when I was a child at my grandmother's house. Here's the bed set up in the room that I will be in. 
I'm going to go ahead and put a clear coat on it in right here in the room. 